overall, the goal of this project is to prevent sharks from getting caught on fishermen lines. Water quality. Bethany Broadbeck has spent nearly four years researching and refining this project. Dissolved oxygen is 8.15. Oh yeah, you got something. A senior from Pennsylvania, she's had a lifelong fascination with sharks and their role as the ocean's top predator. Ready? Definitely a hard pill, I think, for some people to swallow that these animals do have their place in the ecosystem and removing them could cause an ecosystem collapse. And we notice... A Working in collaboration with a school in Virginia, Bethany is helping develop what is called a bycatch reduction device. You turn it on. Here inside this UNE Marine Science Lab, she's testing this prototype on spiny dogfish, a plentiful species of shark found off the main coast. So when I place this in the water, what I'm seeing is how their behavior changes around this device. The device developed to work alongside baited fishing lines. By emitting a small electric field sensed only by sharks. They tend to overall seem more agitated. It's designed to repel the sharks. So they get caught on these lines, they get stressed out. If they don't die immediately, there's a really high probability that they'll just die later on just because they can't handle the stress. So this will not reduce catches of target species, but reduce unintended catch of sharks. Salinity is 31.62. Assistant Professor John Mohan oversees the project, which he touts benefits fishermen too. So for instance, setting out a bunch of hooks trying to catch tuna or swordfish, if you start to capture a lot of sharks, that's decreasing the catch of the fishermen. It's ruining their gear. It's putting them at danger of handling sharks. This is just mackerel. Even when graduated, Bethany plans to continue with this project. The outcome, she says, just too important not to see it all the way through. To what extent it fully works is still up for debate, but we know, at least from my trials, that we saw a 50% reduction in sharks biting onto bait, which is huge when you think about it. And that was Steve Minnick with that report. As research continues, they're still looking to zero in on exactly which species of shark that device works on and if there are any that might be immune.